Okay, this starts the Yak Camper, made from a Harbor Freight 4x8 utility trailer. We're unboxing today. It's uh, rainy outside, so we're in the back room, storage room. And of course, we're opening box two first, which has the tires, the gear, the hardware, the two hardware boxes right there. In box one is all of the frame. Okay, this is everything out of box two. You get the instructions, your fender mounts, your fenders, leaf springs, U bolts and brackets or plates for your leaf springs. Your hubs are attached to the wheels. You get your nuts and bolts, one plate for the tongue for the uh, hitch mount and the other for the coupling. Then you get these two small boxes. In this box is the stake hardware and the folding hinges. And the other box is just your light kit. Now we're going to open box one, which should be the frame, the axle, etc. Okay, box one is unboxed, which had the axle and all the frame rails, the remainder of the tongue, the spring mounts, the two dollies if you're going to use it for folding. Let me show you the axle. It's really not... It's not a solid box tube. It's a piece of channel with some spindles welded into it. Which gives it much much less carrying capacity. And that's the end of unboxing. And we'll see how we can put this thing bit together. And three cross members for each section. It's built in two four by four sections. And then the tongue goes on. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna read the instructions. See which pieces go where and go from there. Okay, it's starting to rain again. But there's the basics. Still have to tighten up some of the bolts. Put the tongue coupler on. And then that's it. And we'll deck it and start building the deck and the box. Okay. Took it on its maiden voyage to Lowe's. Picked up one sheet of three quarter for the floor, three sheets of half inch pressure treated for the walls and the lift up uh, lid. Got three two by fours uh, for making the side mounts. Uh, took it on its maiden voyage, about 25 miles round trip after packing the bearings and everything. Seemed pretty good. Uh, it's only 25 miles. Uh, but it definitely pulled a lot smoother with the weight on there versus the uh, no weight going to the store. All right, we're going to bolt on the floor deck this morning and then we'll go from there. All right. Okay, we've got the plywood drilled, mounted. There's 21 carriage bolts that I used. Nine interior and 12 on the exterior. When I say exterior, I'm talking this edge down here along the sides. And you got three across the interior one and then three there, and three on the back. All right, now we've got a fully functional four by eight trailer ready to haul anything you need for a size trailer this big. Let me go underneath here and show you what I did. I've got only one there. I mean, 
other side. You can see how they come through. But you got one there. You could put an additional one right there, but I haven't seen any need for it. So there's one on every cross member in the middle and then all down the sides and on each end. And a total of 21 bolts. Basically three in each corner. And you got your center strip. And everything's good. Hope you hope you get the picture on that. Next up we'll start building the camping box that will be removable. And I'll take a video of each step of that. Thanks for watching.